What's up, YouTube? Have you ever wondered how hard it is to airbrush your own hat? Or maybe how easy it is? Stick around. Hey, welcome back, YouTubers. This is Let's Talk T-shirts. Even though today we're gonna be doing something different um, we're gonna be playing around with hats. I recently got into airbrushing as a hobby and um, surprised on how good I was able to pick up a few tricks just by watching a couple of other YouTube videos. So I'm here to show you out of my own experience how easy it is, especially for someone who doesn't have no artistic background, um, at least with drawing, and things of that nature. I, I've just never been that person. You ask me to draw something and it's just gonna come out looking like a baby got and got a crayon and just started dabbling on. I'm here to show you this kit that you can start off with. It's very affordable. You actually get this at a Harbor Freight. It's a central pneumatic kit and it'll come with everything you need. All you would need to buy are the paints on the side, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, this little kit is going to come with the compressor, the airline, an airbrush, you know, it's going to come with your little canister uh, to hold the paint. Um, the only thing is, it is a starter kit, but it's perfect to get started. Don't get me wrong. Um, everything works as should. Um, I did later on, went because I was getting more experience in it. So I went and bought a separate airbrush. Uh, this is an Iwata. This is $60 at Hobby Lobby, but there are many other options. Now, this isn't a professional airbrush by any means, but it is a little better quality than the one that comes with the Harbor Freight. Now, this kit with the compressor, the airbrush, um, the little containers, everything you need to get started is only... $85 at Harbor Free. So it's not bad just to get started. I'm gonna show you the paints. I got these at Hobby Lobby, but you can order them online. They sell them everywhere. I think they even sell them at Lowe's. So these are Createx. This is the Createx brand. And then these are for airbrushing. Pretty much uh, garment. When you airbrush these hats, you're gonna use these colors. And actually when you're done, you would heat press or use some type of uh, heat gun and you would actually cure that paint and then that's when it's set to go. So if you were to use it on a t-shirt, you would airbrush the t-shirt and then you would just put it right into your press, 320 degrees, whatever the instructions say um, for a certain amount of time and then it's done. If you don't do that process, the paint will not cure and if it does get wet or anything touches it, any liquid form, it might come off. So how we're gonna do this process is pretty simple. We're actually gonna go on the computer. We're gonna look up for a graffiti font on any program. You can look for the fonts online. You can get them at thefont.com or just Google it and you'll get a bunch of uh, results of websites that have graffiti fonts. You just go choose the one that you like and then download it and what you would do is same process if you were making a shirt or cutting any type of vinyl put it in your cutter uh, cut that those letterings out weed it and then what I did was which you'll see in the video I just laid them on right over there and then you're just gonna paint right over them it's that simple so without further ado Let's get to the video and I'll show you how I did this hat. All right, so here we're starting off with just a white based ball cap. Now, first we're gonna start off with our background colors. So we're gonna start with the black. Now I'm doing the bottom of the bill too, so I'm just gonna use the colors as I go. Here we go, transferring into the blue. Now you wanna get a good overlapping action on the color before. Same thing under the bill. Just overlap it over the black and just do the middle section. You're just following the same pattern you're doing right here in the front of the hat. Now I'm using this bright green on the top. 
Again, just overlap it right into that blue. Now, when you're done with this base, you're gonna wanna dry it up with a hair dryer at least, just to get that paint dry so you can stick your stencils on. Here we are just finishing up the last background pattern under the bill. After the hat is dry to the touch, you're gonna take your letters and then you just wanna start placing them where you want them. Just remember that as you go from left to right, always overlap the right letter onto the left one. This is what's gonna give that graffiti effect. And you'll see just in a moment. All right, now we're ready to get our airbrush out. So you wanna be very gentle at this, especially if you haven't done it many times before. You just wanna keep that perfect distance away so you can get just that right size around the lettering. You don't want it too thick. You just want a nice little thin shattering over each letter. All right, so remember I told you about the overlapping of the letters? This is why. You're gonna start pulling off from the right to left, each letter one by one, and then each part of the prior letter that was overlapped or covered by the following one, you're just gonna tap that. This is what's gonna give that shadow, that little 3D look. And here we have it, everyone. Pretty cool, huh? See how easy that was? If I can do it, you can do it. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Let's Talk T-Shirts.